hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Jolene and I make relaxed hair videos here on YouTube today I wanted to show you how I relax my hair now this is not a tutorial this is not a drill this is just what I did <laughs> okay I just did it for the first time this was the first time I relaxed my hair by myself and I actually think that it went pretty okay if I do say so myself I really hope that you guys like the video I hope that you share it with a friend I hope that you comment down below and just subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button so you'll know every single time that I post stop playing yourself and without further ado let's just get into the video hey guys welcome back <laughs> so I'm using this grease I have my paddle brush I have my frat tail comb and then I have the relaxer I'm gonna be using it's the cream of nature argan oil relaxer and it's the super strength even though my hair is in coarse but that's the one I'm using so I take off my head tie my bonnet and I'm starting off like all other relaxer videos basically start off I'm dividing my hair into quadrants so I'm gonna have two sections in the front and two sections in the back my hair was in curls so I'm just combing out my hair and now I'm showing you that I'm separating well now I'm greasing my lock but what I'm doing is I'm separating a thin section straight across my rat tail comb then I'm applying grease down the length of my relaxed hair the parts that are already relaxed Okay, you're gonna see it much better in this particular clip I made a section I parted a section I greased down the length of the relaxed hair and I twisted it up and here I'm almost done I wish it really was this short in real life as it is in editing okay <laughs> until all sections are all twisted up and you can see I have about 12 weeks of new growth going on and I just finished the rice water challenge that I posted last week and I have a lot of new growth happening so it's time to get relaxing <laughs> welcome to my unboxing video <laughs> so these are the different things inside of the relaxer kit you have the actual relaxer the conditioner the activator the neutralizing shampoo and then the instructions with the gloves and also some hair polisher to put after you wash your hair so I'm um, hair struggling <laughs> to open this the actual relaxer and the activator i'm just gonna make like a cross down the middle so that it could get to the bottom pelt in the activator and we gonna start stirring now i felt like i did a workout with this you understand me i'll be dancing or whatever listening to music but after my hands had to hurt me yeah, because this <laughs> It was it was rough it was hard but you have to keep on stirring it until it gets smooth enough and well now it's it's time to pray for me so I always read the instructions this is the first time I'm using this particular kit I've had an at-home relaxer before but this is the first time I'm doing it myself before I use the olive oil one but this time I use this cream of nature argan oil one so here I'm greasing my edges as well as the back of my head my nape and well i mean let's just go for it you know <laughs> apply the relaxer with the paddle that comes with the kit and i'm using my mirror to just make sure that i'm actually getting it on the back because again this is my first time like guys it was i had to check i had to check and see but then i got a little bit more confident that okay i was applying along the part that i had made so i didn't have to check so regular like i would still be checking i edited it out though but i would still be checking but i didn't have to check as often because i felt confident that you know i was getting it done so i'm applying the relaxer on the new growth only i'm getting it on my scalp too but i actually didn't experience any burns which was amazing thank you jesus I'm applying it on the bottom of the part and on the top of the section as well so that so that the relaxer will be able to get to all the new growth here you can see when I reach the front I'm pulling on I'm pulling on the relaxed ends so that I can stretch out the new growth so I can see exactly where it is and I'm again applying below the part and above the part And that's really what I did all over my head like this was super simple and super easy I really like this method of having parted out the sections already so that I didn't have to part as I went along because I feel like I would have just taken like maybe two hours to part and put in the relaxer because like this was still a pretty long process I did end up going over for the time recommended by the box but it would have been so much longer if it is that I had actually had to part 
and apply the racks at the same time maybe i'll get better with it as time goes along but but for my first time i really think that i did like i i am i'm patting myself on the back right now guys you don't see it but i am patting myself on the back because i think i did a pretty good job i think i did it in an efficient time and i really like how the relaxer came out overall so again on the bottom and on the top of the part of the plot of the little twist that i would have just now made there and just applying it all over making sure i get all my new growth and then i'm doing my edges last because i don't want them to break off and i'll be edgeless uh, that's not a cute look honey boo boo <laughs> so i did them last both sides put on that relaxer get it done get her done and then i start smoothing so i smooth the entire section like so i smooth the quadrants that I, that's what i end up doing smoothing the quadrants with my hands i did the back as well both sides smoothing the quadrants and then i went in and then i went in with some more relaxer at the back to get my nape as well because i don't want that to fall out either because these are the most sensitive parts your nape your edges so i did those last and did a little bit more smoothing with my hands and then i went in with my rat tail comb and i'm using the back of the rat tail comb not the teeth but the back like the smooth surface of the rat tail comb and i'm just using it to press the hair down against the scalp and really smooth out that new growth it's all part of the smoothing process and i did that all over my hair like honestly some areas i got a little bit lazy but i really focused it like in the front of my hair because that's you know honestly that's what i see okay guys let's not pretend okay that's what you see and so that's the part i wanted to be the smoothest so i was all done with that and i continued to smooth my fingers and then i went ahead and i washed it out and this is the final result i really like how this relaxer came out like i thought it i'm i didn't know what i expected huh but like i was really happy with just the result like it was really smooth and then i went in with the neutralizing shampoo and the conditioning system that they had there and i left it in for about half an hour and then and this what i have here is the rest of the relaxer i actually didn't use all which was very surprising and look guys look at the texture like it's very straight i would say bone straight I, is that even bone straight i don't know but i really like how it came out i feel like this is how i like it to look when i go to the hairdresser as well so <clears throat> call me hairdresser jolene i mean come and make your bookings because ah, this is me now and it is yeah do you guys like this setup like it's just less formal you know it's just small hey girlfriend just talking to you i think it's more chill i mean my arms are hurting but <laughs> who cares <laughs> So that's it for this week's video. If ever you decide to relax your hair by yourself, girl, just let me go. I'm going to be praying for you. Keep your prayer up. <laughs> and I'm going to support you. Don't forget, I post every single Tuesday, even if it's at 11.59 in the night. I'm going to be there. <laughs> Make sure you check out my last video. And just stay tuned because I'm going to be posting a next video next Tuesday. And to who's, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, stay hopeful, stay faithful, stay loving. I'll see you guys in the next one. Blessings.